Hi everyone, my name is Ashraf Sunnadi. Thank you for being here with us today. We will be presenting our work entitled Understanding Alzheimer's Disease Structural Connectivity Through Explainable AI by me, Ashraf Sunnadi, Etienne Saint-Ange, Jean-Christophe Oud, Maxime Descoteaux, and Pierre-Marc Jodouin. Due to the lack of tools for understanding Alzheimer's disease connectivity with deep learning and machine learning algorithms, our work aims to use existing methods to better understand dementia. It's important to point that our contribution aims for enhancing the knowledge we have about diseases rather than just novel deep learning algorithms that slightly enhance accuracy of existing ones. We aim to leverage the existing methods to enhance the knowledge and understanding about the brain connectivity of Alzheimer's disease through explainable AI. We trained, we trained an adapted version of brain learning by Collins Brown, formed and constituted of one edge to edge layer and one edge to node layer, followed by a fully connected network over DY MRI tractography constructed using state of the art pipeline developed by Maxim's team and C Lab, using MRI images from ADNI dataset. We trained the model using PyTorch and the hyperparameters were well fine tuned using HP Benster algorithm. The edge-to-edge -edge filter captures the first-order connectivity in the brain networks. It's formed of two one-dimensional convolution filters, one applied for the row and one applied over the columns, as demonstrated by the following equation. Meanwhile, the edge-to-node filter reduces the dimensionality of data and plays the same role as pooling in convolutional classical CNN. The main difference between our version and the original branded CNN is we omitted first the application of node to graph and we adapted the edge to node filter to be applied just over the rows instead of the rows and the columns. Our method demonstrates a good performance and good accuracies and reported scores in the following table when it comes to classification NC versus MCI or NC versus AD. Meanwhile, using cortical volumes, we could enhance the performance when it comes to MCI versus AD. We used the trained model along with features visualization and ablation analysis in order to understand Alzheimer's disease using explainable AI. We used saliency maps by retropropagating the gradient descent over the average of true positive of each class. As shown in the gradient 3D visualization in the figure, this procedure enables to understand the discriminative relations between NC and AD and MCI. Furthermore, we applied ablation analysis in order to evaluate the impact of changing the connectivity strain between regions of the brain on the overall performance of the model in order to determine the discriminative regions for AD. We follow three procedures, node ablation, node randomization, and edge ablation. As we can see in the further slides, there is node ablation will force to zero the connections between region Y and all the other regions. Meanwhile, node randomizations we changes and randomize the values between the connections of region Y and other regions. And edge ablation by forcing to zero connections between a set and combination of specific number of regions. For the experiment and our findings that we found that no single region and its connections are responsible for AD prediction, but combine several effects of multiple cortical regions. Also, the amplitude of the retropropagated gradient underlines which regions correlate with the neural network prediction, like onto or renal is the most intense difference between AD and NC along with hippocampus for MCI and NC. The, repro the reported regions are correlated with the ones from the literature and neuroanatomist expert review. For future work, we aim to create larger datasets as disease progression can be assessed as continuum in time while incorporating anatomical prayers for the structural connectome reconstruction by adding information from relevant brain features like fractional anisotropy, mean diffusivity, and other MRI contrast. contrast. Application also by then the advanced geometric graph seen in over the connectomes. 
Finally, we would like to thank our partners for making this work possible and thank in Middle uh, Montreal 2020.